I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Good morning, sunflowers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for another day of Vlogmas. You guys might be like, girl, where are you? Because I haven't vlogged in two days, actually. I had work and I got behind and this life was crazy. But I'm back, y'all. And I was also uploading videos in the meantime because I did like shopping vlogs and things like that. But I actually drove home from college this past weekend. I am home for Christmas break. Today's actually my last day of finals. So it's kind of like I'm taking a little trip back to when I did like online school vlogs last spring. Like that's kind of my day today. It is currently Monday. I have an online final today. I have a final paper I need to write. And I slept in today because like I said, this weekend was super chaotic and I just needed to give my body a break and some rest. But I slept in and now I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get my day going on the right note. I'm back home. So that means I have my favorite gym membership back. Y'all know how I feel about the gym. I get to by my parents' house and also just like the room at my parents' house. Like y'all have already seen the vibes this video, but like, my parents' house is so cute and I love being here. I love staying here and it just feels like the like holiday season's really beginning now that I'm home. It's always like so magical. The house is just decorated like to the tens and you guys will see throughout the rest of Vlogmas is gonna take place at my parents' house and I'm just so excited. My best friends are all back home. Like everything is just like looking up you guys. But really quick before I head to the gym, I wanna give you guys a gym OOTT and remind you guys that today is going to be amazing. Make the most of today and today is a day to start living your life as your own dream person. Like let's get after it. Okay, I'll show you guys my outfit. All right, y'all, so this is the workout OTD. My hair is just in a bun. I have this top on from Amazon. I want to order this in more colors because it's, like, the most flattering, cutest little workout shirt ever. And then I'm wearing these leggings, which I will try to link below. I had them sent to me kind of recently, but they're really cute. And then these Nike shoes, which I always wear when I'm home because they're actually my mom's, but I think they're literally so cute. So, yes, I'm going to head out, get my workout in, and then we have a lot to do today because I also need to do some Christmas shopping. I have bought zero, yes, that is zero Christmas presents so far. Far. and I also need to pack tons of small business orders I sold out of this stormy cup that's my big like item that I want all out on that I've sold out of and I'm very proud of myself for that and the dogs are barking so that's my cue to go get my day going but today is going to be so good and so productive <laughs> So update time. I just got home from the gym. I got a super good workout in. I did like a floor workout and then I did the stairs. But your girl is now starving, so I'm gonna have some coffee and a bagel. It's also so nice outside, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that. So after I eat, I'm gonna go on a walk. But yes, let's get a little bagel out. Going to have my morning bagel and my coffee. So update time check-in. I just got back from a walk with my dad. It was so great. Got stormy some fresh air, got me some fresh air after my lunch. And now it is time to get into the workday. My workday takes place up in my office. If you guys remember my online school vlogs from last spring, this is where it all took place. It just looks a lot different now because I took a lot of the furniture up to my college apartments. I'm gonna quick show you the office space I'll be working in over break. This is where like everything happens that's not leisurely because I like my room to be like a sacred space for like relaxing and rest and chill time if that makes sense so I'm so grateful I have an office at my parents house and I'll show you guys it because it looks a lot different than it did last spring when I did that like office makeover just because so much of that is in my new space I moved into if that makes sense so this is the little space I'm gonna be packing orders in over break today's my last day of school so it's the only day I'm gonna be doing school on it but we have a bed here for my sister visit so she has somewhere to sleep but okay guys I found this rocking chair on the side of the road and my mom painted it she ripped out all of the like backing to it and did this herself and I am literally obsessed with it. It's so comfy. It's a great reading spot because this room gets really, really good sunshine and we have this great tree here. 
The vibes are just amazing. My mom added these leaves to this tree to kind of bring something because it was very plain before, which I love. And then I have just like this big work table, which is honestly, so this is so great for packing orders. I have all my small business stuff in that closet here. I have this little stand with like all my stuff for packing orders, like my boxes, transfer tape, my printer, everything. Literally my parents are so amazing. And yesterday I had work all day um, at my retail job and they unpacked my car and set all this up for me and it literally, like, they're the best people ever. So supportive of me. It makes my life so much less stressful. So I'm so thankful I got this all set up literally yesterday, but this is where I'm about to sit down and have a little school sesh and then I have to make so many Stormy Cups out like my Cricut. I also have like tons of art supplies because this is also like a space my family uses to like arts and crafts type things, a candle. I just filled up this cup of water because your girl needs to hydrate. And yeah, that's our little office. I'm going to sit down and I need to take a final. So I have to study for that really quick. We'll see how much I study and how much I decide to just go for it. Okay, you guys. So you guys are currently sitting on literally a paper towel roll, but I need to log in to my little Spanish class, my silly little Spanish class, and see, like, how long this test is supposed to be. And I just can't decide, like, how much to put into it. Basically, however I do on it, I know I'm going to pass the class, but it's, like, do, I don't know, like, mm. I just, I think when I packed my bags and came home, symbolically for me, I checked out of my first semester of junior year and I was like, it's Christmas break, but like today it's not technically Christmas break. Like I have to take this final, but ew, sick to my stomach. It says it's a 30 minute test and I know we have two hours to do it. Let me look at my Spanish grade. So I'll just be honest with you guys. Also comment down below if you guys want me to do what I did last vlogmas and expose my final grades like I did. I think I've done that actually like the past two semesters. Like I just tell you guys straight up what i got in my classes how it went you know we keep it real here who emailed me okay well then i probably should mm, did i bring my notes home from college no i didn't but i can go back through the assignments i've done and i can take new notes so i should probably actually do that i am gonna do that look at me putting my all into school who would have thought look at us guys Okay, so I have 83% in the class right now. I think that's with everything besides the final. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So I have an 83.28% in this class before I take the final. So I think I'm going to take notes because there's kind of a chance I could keep that B. Like, it's not like it's like an 80. Let me see what I need to get to keep my B. Does anybody else do this? If you have done this in Canvas, like, let's all expose ourselves. Okay, I could get 55 points off and still get a B. Probably shouldn't say this because you guys are going to end up like, if I you mind, I guess you're going to be like, girl, what happened in there? Okay. Yeah. So I need to do like semi-decent. Okay. I'm going to take notes. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to grab a pen and some paper. I'm going to make a little study guide for myself to take, to like use with the test since I didn't know we were allowed to have paper. I didn't really know if it was proctored or like what the vibe was but they want you to just use notes so that's what i'm gonna do all right i'll see you guys when i finish this test this is my last test after this i just have to do a final project so don't text feeling pretty much good <laughs> Alright guys, so update time. I finished taking my Spanish final. Does anybody else feel like when you take a final but you don't get your grade right away? You just don't feel done until you get that grade. So I hope you get those soon. But this is the little like open note study guide I put together for myself. And I think it was pretty useful. I kind of just went through all the presentations and put down like the big notes. I probably should have done a little more but it was like open book. I was trying to scroll through my book but I was like mm, the motivation was like... The book's really big and it's online, so you can't like flip through a table of context, so it's a little bit confusing. But you know, it's all good, it's over, and that's what, that's what matters. But I'm currently writing my paper for my BizCom class. We have like a final paper, it's just like reviewing the content we did in the class and reviewing like how we did this past semester and things like that. So I'm finishing typing this up. I'm on 375 words, and I think it has to be, let's see. 650 words so we're about halfway done and it's not taking very long because it's really honestly like a paper that's just about like your thoughts and I went to like all I don't I didn't I only missed one lecture the entire semester and it was three days a week so I have a lot to like easily remember and write about which is really nice so I'm gonna finish this up and I, it's gonna feel so good when this is done 
I'm actually done. All right, y'all, I am officially submitting my last assignment of this semester. Ah, the confetti. I love Canvas for that. All right, guys, so it has been a minute. I turned in that final assignment you guys saw, and I just threw this puffer on, and I was getting ready to start packing small business orders for my small business change the caption. You guys didn't know I run an Etsy shop, and I realized I only brought black vinyl home, and I need some blue for a car order I got, so I actually just quick drove over to Vinyl Fun, about to go in, pick up some paper, and then I need to go home and just, like, have, like, a packing orders session. I also need to eat because your girl's getting hangry and driving here. I was just, like, my skin was, like, I need to turn the mood around, so I think I definitely need food too. So I'm gonna do both of those things. <laughs> Alright guys, so update, I am home from Vinyl Fun, your girl is so tired, I don't know if you can see it in my voice, eyes, everything, but your girl is very exhausted. That's okay though, we're going to have a little packing orders evening session, I have a lot to catch up on for the shop, just because it's been so crazy this week, I'm working and everything, so I'm going to start doing that. My mom, I think, is about to make dinner, so that's like the best part about being home, like I can like work while food's getting made for me, and it's just like, high school me didn't know what she had, but I'm going to watch YouTube. Pack orders, have myself a little grind sash. <laughs> All right, y'all, so since we last talked, I packed orders, I ate a taco, and I made my post for my social media director position at our campus, and your girl is done for the day. I am ready to relax. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm sorry if it was a little bit shorter. I feel like it might have been, but today was kind of just chaotic and catching up after having a super busy weekend. Um, if you guys want to see like a holiday room tour and like in a vlog in a future vlogmas video Let me know down below because my room is so cute. My mom decorated it All up you guys saw like a glimpse of that this morning, but I wasn't like in my actual bedroom right now I'm still in my office much today. So just let me know But yeah, I'll see you at lovely sunflowers in tomorrow's video If you have been kind of going through it this week and you have a lot I know it's finals for a lot of people just know like you are strong. You're capable. You can get through this You are worthy and no matter how your tests go you are intelligent lovable and you have purpose in your life so yes i'll see you lovely sunflowers in my next video